Hey guys, right here. Hi. Uh, congratulations on your award, first of all. Um, my question is, you guys are a really talented, really popular country music group. Do you guys have any hip hop uh, musicians you guys like or artists? Oh yeah. Drake. I was at New Drake Records. Sick, Amazing. Man, it's so good. Yeah. Any other guys? Oh gosh. Favorite Maybe. song on what? On Drake's album? Um, probably for me, uh, the, uh, the the duet he does, or not duet, it does a collaboration with Lil Wayne and uh, Andre 3000. What's the name of that song? Oh, the, the Strip Club song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just got it like three days ago, so I don't know the name of the songs, but it's like track 10. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes. Bro. We're from, we're, we're from Georgia, so <laughs> we like Atlanta. Rappers. Hey guys, In Style Magazine. Hi. You look amazing. Of course, I have to ask, what are you wearing? And you're pros at this by now, so oh. do you love getting dressed up for stuff like this? Yeah. And how involved was today in doing well, that? Well, honestly, I mean, I, we had a big fitting yesterday, and, and there were a couple of dresses that I was in between. And, and this one, it's um, Ronnie Zakim, I think is how you pronounce it. I, don't, I hate getting it wrong. I'm sorry if I did. But, um, <laughs> but I just... It was easy. It was one of those you just throw it on. It has one zipper. It's not like I'm all uncomfortable. And, and this show is about having fun. And in L.A., it's like you get to bring a little glitz, you know, and then that's what I tried to do. And just it was comfortable and still felt sexy and flattering. So I went with it. Yeah, it's right here. Uh, I was just wondering, what's it like carrying a, you know, one of the country music torch bearers right now in country music? And second question, how crazy has it been? To see everything come through from Third and Lindsley yeah. to right now. Oh man, how'd you know that? <laughs> Nashville, CT. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, man, it's been it's been really cool, you know. I mean, I, honestly, to be able to feel like we're representing the country genre, and and, and there's so many artists. I mean, see Bam Perry perform tonight, put on a great performance. Taylor Swift and um, all these artists. I think the genre has just opened itself up a lot. The sound of it is is you know definitely uh, reaching a little more of a contemporary audience, which is great, you know, because the sound is 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 evolving. Um, but there's still very traditional country music as well that works. It's just I don't know. It's it's got a wide range of, of styles in the genre. So I think that's why it's appealing, I guess, to so many people. How do you guys yourself? What new goals do you have for yourself? Tour, 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 <laughs> tour. Yes. We uh, we actually just started a brand new headlining tour. So for us, you know, we want to be able to sell tickets. You know, we just put on sale a couple of days ago, Staples Center here in LA, and you know, had a, had good first day sales, and excited to kind of be out there and be able to play some of these arenas for the first. He's time. our promoter. <laughs> tickets are at a reasonable price point. <laughs> <laughs> you were just talking about um, picking your dress for the night. Do you have any Yes. No, truth truly, whenever I went and met with a few different people like trying to figure out what dress I wanted, the one of the one things I said was I want to be able to bend down and pick up a kid in my dress. I don't want to like waddle, you know? So that's huge. That's so important. If I mean if you're uncomfortable, you see it on your face, which goes into the style tip of take risks, but make sure that you're being true to who you are and, and like Everyone always says, it's like, you wear the dress, don't let the dress wear you. Hi, Hillary. I'm Jessica from Glamour over Hi. here. You're such an inspiration to so many women, and I was wondering what women inspire you, or what women are you obsessed with, and why? Um, I can tell you which ones I am. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, gosh, I think Beyonce is one of my biggest influences, just from not only on stage, but how she carries herself off. Um, I think she has nothing but class and is has this ability to be extremely sexy without it coming across offensive ever. And I think that she's just brilliant. Um, I think one of my biggest influences is my mom. Um, I look up to her and, and just her outlook on life. But um, a lot of people, I mean, being born and raised in, in the music industry, in the country music industry, um, I've gotten to know Reba very well, and she's just a brilliant businesswoman, and she also is a great advice giver. I was actually just talking to everybody in the band Perry, and, and one of the things I said was, um, she always says exactly what you need to hear at that moment, so Reba, for sure. You're welcome. Hey guys, uh, congratulations on the award right here. Uh, Hi. Any dream collaborations, you know, in the future, obviously for our next record? Oh, Ad so. Adele's at the top of our list, I think. We uh, yeah. fell Adele, in love with her record. Paul McCartney. <laughs> Maybe Drake. Drake. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool to see what we come that. up with. Would be. You never know, man. We're wide open.
Charles, uh, you and Dave have both done a bunch of like outside genre songwriting uh, co-writes. Yeah. What's the the number one thing that makes you want to get in on a, a co-write? Um, well, just I, I think for us, I mean, we just love writing. You know, it all starts with the song and whatever genre it is. I mean, I think everybody, you know, it's all about the, the song first and foremost. And um, you know, we love writing. You know really hooky melodies and, and, and pop music. We feel like we can kind of branch out when we do that. Um, you know, we read a song from The Parachute that's out on the radio right now, and it, it's just fun for us to be able to kind of, I don't know, express that other side of, uh, of us as songwriters. One more question. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I'll be jumping they, up on stage. They will be definitely yeah. crashing the band, um, for sure. But honestly, I have someone in mind, but I haven't asked them yet. Um, but it's going to be someone who I have a personal connection to, who's a dear friend. And, and luckily, we are, you know, we have a job and live in a world where a lot of my really good friends are talented. So I'll, um, I haven't asked them yet, though, so I don't want to let Drake. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Could you repeat what the question was because we couldn't hear it? Who's who are you going to be performing the wedding? Yeah. Okay. Other than Dave and us crashing the <laughs> house will. band. Well, Mus will. Mustang Sally is a big favorite of mine. I'll with crash my bands. own wedding. Guys, one last question. <laughs> you kind of already answered it, but I was going to ask. Like Jason Aldean did the uh, remix to the yeah. Arrow Anthem with Ludacris. Which would Drake be you guys artists? That would be. He, he's yes. definitely at the top of, of, of my list as, as far as. And we actually got go. to meet him at the Grammys, and he was really nice, and our seats were really close to each other. So, um, definitely, I would love that. Thank you. Thank you all. It's hot here, y'all. I know, it is.